Shegumi went yesterday to the forest of Zamfara State to negotiate with bandits. My brother, if you see those bandits, bandits, the kind of arms they were using, the kind of chain of bless on their neck reminds me of the Chinorambo, reminds me of the Django, the film we used to watch in those days during our childhood. If you look at those bandits, they are more giant than you and I. They are taller than you and I. They are more huge, meaning they are making field day, robbing and killing innocent Nigerians. Then I look at the features of those bandits anyway again. I found out that they are from the country of Sahel. They are from the Sahel Africa. They are not even Nigerians. These guys are well armed. If you, if you look at the camouflage they are putting on, it isn't our own camouflage. So these are people from Niger. The Sahel countries are Burkina Faso. They are from Mali. They are from at least, you know, southern uh, Algeria, Morocco, you know, down to Nigeria. So let me tell you, those are the people that throw Nigeria into this kind of chaos and state of insecurity. Come again with your distinct man. What do you now think uh, should happen to them? For these people, for somebody to even to know that these guys are somewhere and he went to locate them, can't our government rise up to the tax to challenge these uh, bandits wherever they are? Oh, no, no, no. Let me ask the question. Shouldn't our military, our soldiers, rise up and trace them there? Why are, not they, are they not going there with security gadgets, like hidden cams, tracking devices, so that later they will track them down to the forests and give the information to DSS and soldiers to go there and kill them? Don't we have soldiers, Nigerian soldiers again? Nigerian soldiers that rose up in 2017 and went down to uh, Abia State, Namde Kanus, Igwe, Israel, of Ayaruku, and totally desecrated his palace by killing over 28 to 30 uh, IPOB members, indigenous people of Biafra. They are not militants, they are not militias. But Nigerian soldiers went there and shot them because they are unarmed. I tell you, it's very, very appalling. And sometimes, um, anyway, funny or hilarious. Why are they not going after these bandits? Why is it not Nigerian military or soldiers that we are invited to negotiate with bandits? How could a civilian just, a civilian governor go into the forest, start negotiating with armed bandits? It is not done that way. And let me tell you again, bandits are armed robbers, armed thieves, armed, armed butch, or you call them walayas. They are arms. On, they are armed. So you don't negotiate with a thief. You don't negotiate with somebody that forcefully takes what belongs to you, from you, at gun or on gun points. So why must it be so? Do you see Nigeria as, do you see our society as an advanced society or are we going down to the medieval age, the dark ages? So give me another take. You talk about uh, uh, from Samvara State, those students that were that was taken, kidnapped and taken to the bush. Somebody from the country still went also to, I mean, to rescue them, rather to, to negotiate with them. I want to believe government knew about these people. They are the ones that set up this meeting. They are the ones that brought these people to go and negotiate with them. Don't you think something is wrong with our nation, Thank with our government? Thank you so much. We call it stage management. It was the abduction of those children in Zamfara State, you know, was a stage managed. It was just an reenactment of what some people just gathered together and walk out on a table talk. So I think they're acting on a script. So let me tell you, they negotiated with them, they planned with them and the money they were looking for was for the Xmas festivity. And they succeeded on cutting away with those millions. So it's just, just a film acting. She understand, let me tell you. Hesmen, Boko Haram, bandits, ISWAP, and Saru terrorists. They are the architects, they, they, they are architects. They are the architects of these groups I named. I mean the current government. Let me tell you, Buhari paid some talks to fight Jonathan 2007. 2007, sorry. 2011, he made, he boasted that he's going to make Jonathan's regime uncomfortable or ungovernable. So he bought those as talks. Then Boko Haram's, they were just talks trained by, by uh, Moody Sharif, the former, the then governor of Burundi State. The talks translated to what is called the current day ISWAP or Boko Haram. And nobody has asked Modi Sharif how come about, about Boko Haram. Nobody has ever questioned him because he's an in-law to Buhari. So let me tell you, bandits, herdsmen, Boko Haram, they are all Buhari's 
kinsmen. So that's why they're not asking Boko Haram or uh, they're not asking a uh, headsman. What come about the, the dagger? Four or six daggers you are hanging on your neck. What come as, comes about the sword? Sword you are having in your shield. What comes about the AK-49 or 47 you are carrying along with you, rearing the cows? Can you control cows with AK-47? Let me tell you the cost of AK-47. Go and Google it. Three AK-47 cost more than 2.8 million naira. Then I saw this man negotiating with uh, 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 Sheikh Bumi with chain bullets, chain, chain. You see, so meaning machine gun. Go and price each machine gun. But I would like you not to forget in a haste that federal government of Nigeria under Buhari doled out 100 billion to Meiti Allah. One and one year, seven months ago, not up to two years. The whole Nigeria, the people in the in the in the in the in the state house, upper chamber, the people in the lower chamber, stakeholders in Nigeria, everybody clamored, was clamoring, shouting. What was this 100 million naira, billion naira means for? Why are you giving these people the money? He said he is the patronage. Eh? Is that English, right? He is the, the patronage. He is the head, overall head of the whole Meti Allah. He's the one that is controlling the whole Meti Allah across West Africa. I'm telling you that money, the question I may feel why? I may feel said the order is from the uneducated boss, Buhari. So that money, don't you think they use that money to, to procure, to buy arms for the headsmen, his kinsmen? I'm telling you, this government is guilty of everything that concerns insecurity encroaching along or across the landmass of Nigeria. Buhari government is guilty. And uh, yesterday, one of the sheikh went to the forest to meet with the bandits to uh, know... Uh, well, that is rubbish. There should, there should be a, you should not uh, if you not even should not even go and agree make peace with, about this issue. They should be destroyed, I, arrest and jailed. They, they are killing people. What what, what peace? Which peace? Are you, uh, you can't compare them with uh, like, uh, militants. Militants in South West start to them fighting for their rights. I'm glad that they started carrying munitions. If you are giving them what they want, the area wants, they will, they will come down. And hey, because they are killing their people and their, 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 their source of uh, living, their, their, their farming is being destroyed, their fishing uh, water is being destroyed. That's why they are coming out. And they are, so, but this one, they are, they, are not, they are not killing people because it's because the government is not doing what they're supposed to do. That's that the problem there. But this one, they are killing people. They are, they are telling people to, they are making people homeless. Look at the people, okay. The people they turn homeless now, who are never in IDPs. They are not providing for them. They are providing for the people that are killing people. It's not personal rubbish. It's not rubbish. What, what is peace? Because they are people now. It's not peace. It's not peace. They are terrorists. And they should deal with the terrorists. Sheikh Gumi, Sheikh Gumi is not a gold digger. Sheikh Gumi, I've been following him for some couple of years. He's an Islamist scholar that preaches peace. I think what he's trying to do is trying, he's trying to reconcile is trying to bring those banditry into the society. Tell them to turn a new leaf. I don't know. I don't know how he wants to achieve that. But what I think he wants to do is trying to tell them to turn a new leaf. To be, to be what, a better person in the society. This is what government ought to have done. A private citizen is not doing it for them. Kudos to him.